I am coming to you from Melbourne, Australia, the big city where I used to live. And I'm staying at Overlo Hotels in this really lovely like downtown studio suite. And I wanted to run through the cameras that we have brought with us. So we just got back from filming with a lovely ceramicist and taking some photos as well. So it was a pretty big job. Um, we've come back to the room, unpacked, recalibrated. We're about to head out for some dinner, which I'm very excited for. But I thought I would just chat with you guys before we popped out. So in terms of gear, we kept it really minimal. I'm actually very proud of how minimal we've kept it. So Lux is mainly shooting digital on this trip, um, aside from a little bit of film. So he brought um, the XC1. This is really good too, because we're working on some presets at the moment. So it gives us some images to try things out in Lightroom with. So he has already shot some pictures of the room and we're gonna head out on the street, go to Chinatown. It's really exciting for us to be in a city environment because there's just so much more going on than at home and we can be on foot. Um, I'm super, super excited to try some street photography again. So definitely stay tuned if you're interested to see more of that. And then I brought, I feel like a broken record, my Canon Rebel G. Uh, I was gonna bring the EOS 7 because we have a photography job on tomorrow that would be really good with that, but it's just so heavy and the Rebel G is light. And I knew that I wanted to walk around in the evening taking photos in a street photography kind of style. And I just know this, it's really light. It sits on my hip nicely. I just love it. So I'm gonna use it. And then in terms of video, we have like the giant oh, <laughs> oh, rig <laughs> put together because we are doing, yeah, we did, did some video today that was like, you know, a serious job. So we wanted to and thought it was worth bringing the whole thing. Um, and then we're vlogging on the Sony, which we'll take out with us tonight. And it's so good, you know, having that. And in terms of film, I also kept it really like minimal. So I pretty much just got Kodak Color Plus and then some Fuji. Ugh. So Fuji 200 is actually Kodak Gold. So pretty much just all Kodak, story of all of our lives right now. Yeah, so gonna take some photos to my Radical Yes, who if you follow me on Instagram, you will see that I do a lot of stuff. They're a footwear brand. We were just having a very interesting conversation. Lux is like, so you are gonna do street photography on film because I said in my last video that I prefer to try out like street photography in the like Faisal Westcott, like I can't think of any other channels, but like street photography in the true sense of the form with digital. But I really just want to take my Rebel G. So I'm just going to do it on film and I'm just going to snap pretty much exactly what I want to and what I would class as street photography because it's me taking photos on the street. So that probably will be like, you know, some piled up boxes or I don't know, the back of someone, but maybe it will be the more traditional style of street photography where like people are crossing the road or something like that. I don't know. I just want to walk around and take photos, um, but I am feeling inspired to take snapshots of the city. And I feel like that always results in some form of kind of street photography. So that's where I stand on that. <laughs> this isn't going in. Why not? I'm not, I'm not doing that. You're going to be on the channel? Okay, all right. Okay, I'll can just... we just wave? Mm. It's really awkward. Ah, <sighs> oh, it's video. <laughs> <laughs> uh, lol. <laughs> your bell.
It's super similar to where we were before. There it is, this big line. I tell them about. We've got a bit of a narrative going here with the top thing. And it's a little thingy work. Oh, see, went down the wrong Just got back from Radical Yes from their fitting salon. So I took some photos of the shop and we also did a little video of me in there choosing some styles. So I will show you. Why not, hey? It's a cute bag, green bag. I actually got this for my mum as a little gift. Oops. And then I got these amazing red clogs, which I'm very excited to photograph because I know they're gonna look really good on film. I shot through a roll of gold today in the store. And this morning we got some bakery treats from Baker to Cherico, which is one of my favorite bakeries in Melbourne. And just kind of walked around a little bit. Um, I did take a couple of photos. Lux has been getting some really nice images on the um, XC1. And we had a little meeting with No Skin, which are another footwear company. Um, they're all vegan. So we met um, the owner at a little coffee shop and discussed um, future photo shoots and campaigns and videos and stuff like that. And then, yeah, went to Radical Yes. Now we are back at the hotel and we're just like transferring all the footage over, making sure it's all okay to ease the anxiety. And then tonight we are meeting up with the team from Ikigai Film Lab, our film lab here in Melbourne, who we've not met before, but we speak to obviously all the time and love. So we're going to Super Normal, which is a really um, popular restaurant in the city. Really excited to meet them and yeah, just hang out. And there's also a bookstore that I really want to go to. We went there yesterday, but I didn't have enough time to look. So I just want to look through and get a new book because... I have nearly finished this book and it is so good. I'm ripping through it. So I want something else to read, possibly on the plane home. So yes, that is the plan. So we just had sandwich, coffee, and now we're gonna walk around, take some more photos and check out some op shops, hopefully, and probably get another coffee because we're in Melbourne, land of coffee. Thank you. 